Alright guys, Hopeless Gamer here, and today we are having a look at Shadowrun Returns, which, if my timing is right, should have just been released on Steam about now. Um, yeah, I'm quite excited for this, because I remember playing the original Shadowrun on a SNES way back when. Um, seems pretty cool. Anyway, yeah, so I'm too excited to think. Uh, if you do find this video entertaining or informative, or you just do like it, you know, please do leave a like and a comment. Let me know what you think. But yeah, the the world of Shadowrun, it's basically uh, the year's 2054, so a bit in the future, and somehow magic has returned to the world, and it's kind of brought with it the elves, trolls, orcs, and dwarfs. Uh, and you play a shadow runner, which is basically a mercenary. Uh, let's start a new game. Uh, the game does come with um, like an editor, so you can make your own campaigns, which I'm going to try and have a look at in a later video. But it does come with uh, the starter one, which is the Dead Man's Switch. Story new. Yeah, okay. Each one has tags, so you can search for it on on Steam for the workshops. Um, yeah. So, Dead Man's Switch. In the urban sprawl of the Seattle, Metro Seattle Metroplex, the search for a mysterious killer sets you on a trail that leads from the darkest slums to the city's most powerful megacorps. You'll need to tread carefully, enlist the aid of other runners, and master powerful forces of technology and magic in order to emerge from the shadows of Seattle unscathed. That seems a good place to start. There we go. So we're creating a character, new game, create a character, and I always pick male just because I've never really, I've, I've never really felt the urge to create a female character. If I'm playing a roleplay game, I'd like to feel like it's it's me. So we've got human, elf, dwarf, orc, or troll. Uh, he's got. Uh, do, 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 do. I'm going to go for an elf. And then you got the classes. So you got Street Samurai. Uh, which I think is your hand to hand combat. Or just your general soldier, really. Your mage. Pretty obvious. Your decker. It's, uh, kind of like a hacker. Shaman. He's a he's a, the summoner, I think he is. So he summons spirits. The rigger. Um, another s sort of summoner, but instead of spirits, he uses drones. Uh, physical adept. Magically active characters who focus their magic internally to develop to their utmost potential, physically, mentally, and spiritually. So I'm guessing closest thing to that would be like the monk from Diablo 3. Or you can completely make your own. I'm going to go for the rigger. Seems a, a good idea. Uh, character portrait. Ooh. Oh yeah, it's got to be that one. It's got to be that face. I mean, look at those sunglasses. Let's get to the stats. Uh, Karma. Karma represents the experience characters earn while running... For, okay. So, Karma is what you spend to upgrade your, your, your skill points. So, I've got five Karma. Let's have a look. Intelligence. Uh, how do I want to play? Ooh. Do I want to play kind of combatty or talkative? That could be interesting. Uh, let's 
put one point into ranged just because I like I, I'm gonna be using guns. don't know what that is, but as I am a, a decker, that's probably going to be useful. Let's also put something into there. Let's... I'm kind of... I've lost myself. Intelligence, willpower, charisma, it's got free in charisma, so that's okay. Uh, yeah, I think that's good. Let's put a point into pistols as well, just to use it. Okay. Uh, and etiquette. Etiquette is about knowing how to behave in various social situations. The right etiquette can give you an edge in certain conversations. Choose an etiquette from the list below. Choosing an etiquette does not cost karma, and each etiquette can only be chosen once. So what do I want my social background to be? I'm going to go for corporate. I don't know why. I don't really know. There's no... I can hover over. There's nothing to really tell me what each one... Like the pros and cons. So I'm just going to go for corporate, just because it's the one at the top. Many runners use a street name, so let's make a street name. I'm just going to call him Hopeless. Here we go. Let's see what this is all about. Your apartment, 3 o'clock in the morning. It's got four walls, a roof, and isn't on fire. I'd say that's usually a good sign. Even the cockroaches have fled in search of better accommodations. Not exactly a runner's dream pad, but right now, it's about all you have left. Running the shadows is all about f feast or famine. One day you're Nova Hot, working jobs that allow you to eat at five-star restaurants. The next, well, you're here. This one's a famine for the ages. Slagging fixer hasn't called, the money's run out, and then some. Sinless and free... Uh, free to starve in the cracks of a society run by megacorps who just want your Nyan. Something needs to change, and soon. I think Nyan is the money. Uh, it's your apartment, 2054. It's 3am, and you've got nowhere to go but down. So what we got? Look at the couch. Is that a couch? A slip of paper with your bank balance. Enough to cover you through to the end of the week. Is that it? Yeah. Your notebook. Calendar contacts and a list of things. For your list of contacts. The list is sad. Dried up. Carter Detroit. Fixer. No response to messages. Dowd. Runner. Dead. Felton Nash, Fixer, missing since February. No Larry, Runner, dead. Sam Watts, Runner, unknown, probably in a gutter somewhere. Sangoma, Runner, dead. So basically everyone on his list is dead. So let's have a look at the calendar. Nothing. That's just like life. Uh, put down a notebook. Um, obviously it's mouse driven. So left click moves. Does right click right click doesn't do anything at the minute. What's over here? Your computer. State of the art in twenty fifty. Been broke since twenty fifty one. Uh oh. Sam Watts. The screen leaps to life, making you squint against his brightness. The face on the screen is laughing. Hey, buddy. Hope I didn't catch you at a bad time. He giggles. He's drunk again. Or worse. And you... Okay, and you got your responses. 
shouldn't have given you my com code, Gonk. You're zoned. Where have you been, Sam? I haven't heard from you in months. Oh, was he the guy who was possibly in a gutter? Um... Oh, don't, oh, don't bother with your side of the conversation. I'm not really here. Just one reason for this vid. Someone finally geeked me. I'm dead. I, had, I probably had it coming. At least he's honest. When you're an unsavory character like myself, you tend to associate with other unsavory characters who often partake in unsavory business. Like you, for example. So why am I dead? Who knows? Probably my fault. I wonder where you are right now. I bet you hit a big payday and you're living high on the hog somewhere. Yeah, this really looks like a big payday. Some of us are born winners, and some of us are me. Hey, you remember that Renraku run when things went to hell and we lost out? Well, that makeshift saloon on the docks afterwards? I really had your back that night, didn't I? He's dead and he wants a favour. This is brilliant. Dowd. That's a name you haven't heard in a long time. Three years ago, makeshift bar on the Seattle docks. The night Dowd went down. Who's Dowd? Where's Dowd? Sangoma. Uh... She is an urban shaman who's proved her worth during a run against Fuchi last fall. She's the quiet type. An experienced runner. We're out in the open here, hopeless. Uh, our fixer owes us for the run and for Dowd. We wait. You're cool. Uh, new Larry. I wonder what happened to old Larry. You've been running with new Larry for about six months now. He's a combat mage with a bad tattoo and a bad attitude. He knew Dowd almost as well as you did. Dowd, never saw anybody die like that before. Idiot. He shakes his head. I hate this fragging city. It's wet and the rain feels like acid. I want to be out of here. We wait for the money. Yeah, sure, of course. I'll wait all night if I have to. I don't know, Hopeless. Sam is a good guy and can hold his own in a fight, but he's been hitting the bottle pretty good lately. Never on a run so far, but he needs watching. He shakes his head. That run went sideways nine way to Sunday. Now the fixer is late. Smell funny to you? Hell yeah, smells funny. Look at where he set the meeting. This was supposed to be a public place. Hmm. Cut the direct, Sam. We both know why Dowd went down and it wasn't the fixer or some other paranoid chip dream of yours. Sam smiles a toothy smile. I've been waiting for this all night. New Larry has something he wants to say, don't you, Larry? Go ahead, spill it. You were sloppy. Sloppy? You think I was sloppy? You've been twitching all day, son. Look at your hands. They're shaking. You've been drinking, Sam? On a run? No, not a drop. Not today, not ever. Something dawns on him. He leans into new Larry, amused and dangerous. We were set up, and he knows it. Don't you, Larry? What was that call you made before we hit Renraku? How come you couldn't geek that guy before he unloaded on Dowd? I've seen you fling a lightning bolt, son. He should have been burnt to toast before his gun cleared the holster. Ooh, intrigue. New Larry checks his watch, licks his lips, looks over your shoulder at the darkness. He's looking for someone, and it's not the fixer. Okay, I can see where this is going. You chummers are damaged. I'm out. Did you, hey, oh. Did you keep us here long enough, Larry? He stops and a smile slowly appears on his face. 
Looks that way. Sorry, Hopeless. I kind of like you. I just like money better. We've got incoming. New Larry relaxes and throws you a direct eating grin. Looks like my new Renraku friends are finally here. They're going to take that hard drive off your corpse, buddy. We should choose our friends more carefully, Hopeless. Buy your drink after this. You'll owe me several. Here we go, so... Leave the mage, kill the others. So when you're not in combat, it's all uh, traditional point and click. And in combat, it goes to turn-based, so... You're now in turn-based combat mode. Each character has... So, it, yeah, just like uh, the original Fallouts. Okay. So, what have we got? Uh, this highlighted area is where you can move to. So let's move him into, com into cover. So I've got one AP left. What can he do? Um, uh, there's your little backpack, so that's got your items in. Uh, you just saw he's got grenades, but I've, uh, I've used an, a point, so I can't do that yet. Uh, spray and pray. Burst fire. Take this, Larry. Okay, my turn. Let's, let's run him into cover. Uh, what is... Aha! I've transferred control to the drone, and he's got a big-ass gun. Probably shouldn't have actually moved him there. What can she do? This is the shaman. She's got an assault rifle. So I could do an aim shot. Or... Haste. Cast haste or plant a totem. Let's do a, do a nice aim shot. Let's take care of new Larry, just because he's a bastard. He had that coming. Yeah, he did. Missed me. Uh, so, while you've got control of the drone, um, I can't really do anything else other than move. So, for no reason at all, I'm going to go closer to the enemy. Oh, I can zoom in. Cool. Let's go. So, I've moved him in. He's wounded. He's down. being flanked. Uh, let's actually get my guy to run over there. enough. Uh, 
Oops. Now she's wounded. I'm liking this. This is this is kind of fun. What's that over there? I saw something. Hey, don't attack the drone, man. Or him. God. This is bad. They have a shaman. Ah, oh, let's just go for a bit of overkill. God damn it. I'm intrigued. I just want to see what this thing is. Medkit. Cool. Oh, is she gonna die? Okay, so that's a shaman, and that would be the mage. Let's get back into cover. Out of ammo. Reload for one point, yes. That, let's... Is that it? Is, is she doing? Is that it? He's done. Take that. Get you back in cover. So this is the tutorial for the um, combat. It's very simple, very basic. I like it. Do I not have... Oh, I don't have any weapons at all, apparently. So it's all down to the combat drone. Sangama lowers her gun. I, Sam. You okay, Sam? Sam's breathing is heavy and he looks shaken. That was a hell of a thing. You don't look so good, Sam. You were born for this gig, Hopeless. Me? Not so much. I think I'm going to hang it up. Find a nice brothel somewhere. Stay drunk until I croak. What about you? Um... Me? I do this. It's the only life I know. Well, you're a dumbass, and I'll drink to you when you're dead. Ah, oh, who am I kidding? I'm going to outlast you. Well, I'm not going to outlast you. Guess you can drink to me. Flashback. You stare at Sam's face on your comlink. Shake off the memory. Focus. I had your back that night, didn't I? Now I'm asking myself, 
Who would care if I die? Who would give a rat's ass? Better or worse, your name's at the top of the list. Maybe it's the only name on the list. So I set up a dead man switch to send you this call. I got a hundred thousand million insurance policy payable when you find who creased me. Alive with a conviction or in a body bag with justification. Either works. Contact my law firm. Rogers, Menjert and McCain. When the job is done, they'll know what to do. He turns to his left. Chet. Camera swivels to show a well-dressed man sitting next to Sam. Purse went to Mr. Watts' wishes. Rogers mentioned to McCain has installed a secure dedicated phone line so you may contact us directly when a task is complete. We will then begin a verification process. Not that you must be able, uh, Note that you must be on a secure landline to access this number. We will not accept transmissions from comlinks or other devices. The camera swivels back to Sam. Sam straightens up, talks seriously. First time. Look, Hopeless. I've led a direct life. I probably led, left a direct corpse. I've hurt people. Hurt myself. I don't know. Maybe I just want the last word. Maybe I want someone to give a crap that I sucked air for a while. What do you say? Uh, I'd say my schedule is pretty clear right now. Hope you just said yes. I've got a lake locator chip slotted in my head these days. If, when, my heart stops, it'll activate. That's how you'll find me. See you on the slab. Rest in peace, Sam. See you in Seattle. So, yeah, that, that was uh, the tutorial. Um, I like that. Oh, sorry, I'm having a bit of a stretch. I like that. I think that's really cool, and I I really I think yeah, I'm definitely gonna start a series up on this just because there are so many different ways to play it, and with the workshop, you can you're guaranteed you get new content pretty regularly. Uh, so. This is a tutorial. If you want to see some more, let me know. And, uh, yeah. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in a bit.